Hey guys, it's Damien. Uh, I'm back. I've got another video I'm going to do. Um, this one's going to be a little different than uh, some of the business um, videos that I have posted. Uh, the one thing about <clears throat> something recently that I've been looking into and I've been reading about for uh, several months is um, how to change your thoughts and the way that your thoughts end up dictating your life. And um, being an entrepreneur, being a business owner, and having to motivate yourself and push yourself to do uh, everything that it is that you need to do to build your business, um, even though it's something that you're passionate about that you like, there there are days when obviously I don't want to get out of bed because I just got done working for 12 hours or 13 hours a day before, and sometimes it's it's a little difficult to motivate yourself to uh, to get up and do the daily things that you need to do for your business. And then there's some days when you just get right up out of bed and you're raring to go. You've got a lot of good things that are going to happen that day. Um, but the one thing that I had to do. Uh, the past seven years that I've owned a business and been um, building what I've what I've now built now with my wife and my family and my parents who have helped out and um, uh, supported supported the the adventures that I've been doing. Um, just a, a quick rundown. Not only am I a business owner, but I hold seven patents. Um, I uh, was able to. I was blessed with the opportunity to put myself through college. I worked two jobs and went to school full time. Um, I was able to to finish my degree. Uh, there was a lot of things that I did. That I that I did for myself. Not I'm not telling you to to brag or to boast about what I done, what I've done. But along the way, it, it took a lot of pushing myself to do that. And um, self motivation. When you become an entrepreneur, or if you're looking to become a business owner, and you're starting something, and you really don't know the direction that you want to go in, it can sometimes be um, a little bit of a challenge to direct yourself, push yourself. You may not have all the answers. You may not know. Uh, I can tell you I didn't. Uh, there's a lot of things I'm still learning, and I'm still open to learn. Um, but along the way, there's some books um, that I've read that have uh, recently helped me to reorganize the way I think and to really, really think. This may sound a little odd, but think about the thoughts that I'm thinking. Um, but in a way that they end up finding out that a lot of times your attitude, the way that you think about yourself, the way that you talk to yourself, that daily, that daily talk that we all we all go through and we all have every single day um, can either make you or break you. And, and of course, I'm not the first person to say this, and I won't be the last, but I'll give you my own experience. Um, right now, I'm in the middle of reading. I, re I do a tremendous amount of reading, uh, just for my own personal sake, but also a lot of reading about business, um, promoting marketing stuff online. I, ha I have a degree that I've got in marketing, so there's a lot of books that I read on marketing and, and how to develop a product and how to get it out there. Uh, but there's a couple of books that I that I that I'm in the middle of reading. Um, out of all of them, uh, one of them is by Prentice Melford. Is his name Prentice Melford? I'm sorry. Uh, Thoughts or things. Um, I got this copy off of Amazon for just a couple bucks. Uh, I don't get paid to promote these books. Please trust me. I don't. I'm not part of an affiliate program and all that. Just to tell you, these books are amazing. These writers are are, are amazing. Uh, the other one that I'm reading is the uh, Mental Chemistry by Charles. Panel, I know, I may have said that wrong, um, but these two books, uh, this one's a little, uh, kind of on the big side, a little thick here. This one's a quick read, very really short. Um, hands down, if you're looking for something to help you understand how you think, and to understand that you do have a tremendous amount of control on where your life is heading and where it will go. Um, you need to literally stop thinking about where your life has been and where have you, where, what you've been through and let that go. Because if it's something that's negative or it's just something that someone else has told you that you can't do, if it's someone who is, um, unfortunately, a lot of times family, um, close friends, and people who supposedly care about you, um, and a lot of times they may not un unconsciously be aware of it, but a lot of times you're being held back by those people um, if it's a, a, a friend that you've been with for a long time, if it's negative people who've been around you, if it's a family member who thinks they know better than you do because they're stuck in a rut and they're in a place where they haven't achieved much in their life, they're going to try to tell you that many of the things they've experienced are the things you're going to experience. And the problem with that is that in most cases, um, it's not. In most cases, everything that you could possibly imagine that you have thought of, that you've wanted in your mind for yourself, and that you've wanted to achieve, you can achieve that. Um, it, it takes a matter of disciplining yourself mentally to get rid of the negativity and the negative thoughts and the negative comments that other people have 
ended up putting inside your mind, uh, which has either poisoned your thinking, has got you going in the wrong direction, ends up leading you down the wrong road, even ends up stopping you in your tracks and telling you that, you know what, I'm just going to take the safest road, I'm going to get a job, and I'm going to go to school, and all of that is just going to be fine and good enough uh, for my life. And if people have put that in your mind, I'm going to tell you right now, these books, and I'll put a link up on my description of, of, the, of the eight books that I'm reading right now, they will literally set you your mind free, mentally free you from the misconception that you may have taken from someone else's uh, life experiences and someone else's um, poisonous ideas about where you're going to go and the things that you can do and the limitations that you've allowed someone else to put into your mind. Um, and it's so true that there's been numerous numerous times throughout my life when um, you're down, you're, you're at a point where you just don't know exactly what you want to do, um, but you hear everyone else's voices in the back of your head except for yours. And these, these books have, have given me a tremendous amount of insight into how our minds actually work and how I can actually discipline myself to think more positively, more constructively. And the talk that I, I end up talking to myself and speaking to myself every day in a positive way, in a motivational way, um, has led me down the road to succeed in a lot of the stuff that I do. But I have a tremendous amount of stuff that I, uh, goals that I really want to still achieve. And these books have done wonders for me. So um, again, I'll put them in the description. I'm going to do about three or four other videos um, just to talk more specific, specifically about certain topics um, in regards to um, the way that we think and what we allow into our minds and the things that you can do every single day in very small ways but will make a huge impact on whether you achieve a goal or if you don't. Um, one, of the, one of the things that just I've, I've given up is I don't watch TV, believe it or not. I don't watch television. I don't watch the news. I don't read the newspapers. I do stay informed with a few things that I see online every now and then. But uh, as I was before, a few years ago, I would constantly watch the news and I would fill my mind with all of this stuff when I've been every single day, day in and day out, bombard myself with this information, which is absolutely useless and it's unneeded. It's unnecessary. There's no human being on the face of the earth that needs to know of every single war, destructive thing, fires, killings, murders, deaths. All of that stuff has a huge impact on the way that you see life and the way that your day goes. And if you constantly allow yourself to absorb these things, they will damage your mind. And I'm going to tell you right now, they will not only damage your mind, but they will misguide you and, and, and take up much more time from your day, from the time that you need to be focused on what you need to be doing for yourself, bettering your family, bettering your, the quality of life that you've got, and spending time with family. All of these things have a huge impact when you start to watch and hear and listen to all of this negativity. So I will put again, again, the description, I'll put these books up and I'll list them for you. Um, I do hope that you have a chance to read them. You can find them anywhere online, uh, Amazon, eBay, um, or you can even get them at local Barnes & Noble. Uh, but they are some amazing authors. Uh, these guys I've actually never heard of until about um, nine months ago, eight months ago. Um, so if you get a chance, do invest the time in reading these books. Uh, there is also on, on YouTube, right here on YouTube, some of these books are on audio. Listen to them. Just listen to them with an open mind. Um, some of the things that they discuss in here, they take quotes from the Bible, whether or not you're a Christian or not, or whether you read the Bible. Um, many of these books have a lot of biblical uh, foundations, um, and, and it's had a tremendous impact, really good positive impact on my life. So I, I hope that it helps you out, and I will have a few other videos up, um, and good luck.